Hi, I'm Meryl Troop at Maine Center on Deafness and I am the Advocacy Manager. The Maine Center on Deafness is here at Portland Pride Festival to support members of the deaf community who would like to participate in their other community's activities and we're here to help make it accessible for people who are deaf and use sign language as well as people who don't hear so good anymore. Maine Center on Deafness provides information, advocacy, outreach to members of the community throughout the state of Maine regarding serving people with hearing loss, people who are deaf and use sign language. We also provide specialty equipment that will help make people safer and more productive in their homes and on their jobs. People who are deaf and use sign language to, to communicate face barriers to integrating in their neighborhoods and their communities. So Maine Center on Deafness at the request of a deaf person who is gay and wants to be here asked us to have a presence. We created a deaf marching group and sign language and interpreters and hard of hearing people were welcome to join us and here we are making sure that this other community who cares about access and equality as a social justice issue is also inclusive of people who are deaf and hard of hearing as well. For displays we have fans and clips that advertise the main relay service which is how we can make telephone services accessible to people who are deaf or hard of hearing. We have at the other end the specialty phones that you access the relay service through so that a person who doesn't hear well anymore can still make their own phone calls and receive phone calls whether it's for loved ones, for safety, or for their employment. The relay system that works with this specialty telephone, it's called a captioned phone or CapTel for short. And what the person with the hearing loss can do is talk into the phone and they can both listen and read what the other person is saying as it's typed on this large screen. The captions go by so they won't miss a single word. These phones are free to Maine people who are low income or there's a cost sharing plan for those who are above a rather generous low income mark. And we have phones that will help anyone with a barrier to the phone, including folks who don't remember phone numbers anymore. You can put in the picture of the person they want to reach and it will automatically dial the number for them. It has both volume and tone adjustments so that a wide range of hearing loss can be accommodated with this kind of phone. We also have an assistive listening device. The person with the hearing loss puts this on and what they want to listen to, they speak into the microphone and it amplifies what's being said directly into the ears and cuts out all the background noise. So at an event like this, it's crucial to be able to hear your partner speaking without amplifying all the other noise. We have our flyers on all that Maine Center and Deafness provides. We're having MCD Day at Funtown Splashtown, a day where you can get some sign language splashed on you as well. We also have flashing and vibrating fire alarms because we feel that people with hearing loss should have an equal right to survive a fire in their home. Landlords are required to put in a fire detection system that will work for the tenant, and if that is a person who is deaf, they have to put in a flashing or a vibrating the bed alarm so that the deaf or hard of hearing person can survive the fire. Contact the Maine Center on Deafness. We're located in Portland. We have an outpost in Bangor, and we serve the entire state. You can find us on the web or please like us on our Facebook page. Our website is www.mcdmaine.org. May I sign that?